Hello and welcome back to Gemma Movie Recaps. Today we'll look back at Old Henry, a 2021 action slash drama film. Spoilers follow. Take precautions and exercise caution. Still well, and their leader catch him. Brannigan, no matter how fast he runs, is still shot and captured. Ketchum kicks him a few times while asking for the location of another man they've been pursuing, but Brannigan refuses to confess. Ketchum responds by tying Brannigan to a horse and pulling him through the countryside until he finally speaks, the man they're searching for has gone east. Instead of releasing Brannigan, Ketchum murders him. Meanwhile, old Henry McCarty and his adolescent son Wyatt are hard at work on their farm. Henry grew up in New York and traveled extensively before settling down as an Oklahoma farmer. Unfortunately, he lost his wife to tuberculosis, but her brother Al visits frequently to lend a hand and be an uncle to Wyatt. Their life is peaceful and pleasant, the only source of contention is Wyatt's desire to travel and learn to shoot a gun, both of which Henry forbids. It was still early in the morning when they notice a passing horse with a bloodstained seat and no rider. While Wyatt transports the terrified animal to the farm, Henry mounts his own horse and investigates the area, eventually discovering an unconscious man on the ground. Curry has been shot in the shoulder, and Henry has covered the wound with mud and a handkerchief. Then he discovers a gun and a satchel full of money, indicating that there is trouble going on that he does not want to be a part of. However, he only takes a few steps away before he feels bad for the man, so he returns, picks up everything, and after getting rid of any proof they've been there, he takes Curry back to the farm with him. They put Curry on a bed and tend to his wound with the help of Wyatt. When night falls, Henry takes the gun and the satchel containing the money and hides them in a secret compartment in his closet, totally unaware that Wyatt is keeping an eye on him through the space beneath the door. The next morning, Henry decides that if the bullet is not removed, the wound will not heal, so he goes to town to find a doctor. However, before leaving, he ties Curry to the bed and places the knife he used to cut the rope on the nightstand. Wyatt goes to Henry's closet after his father has left to investigate the hidden compartment. He grabs the gun and goes outside to learn how to shoot at a bottle when he discovers the money in the satchel, though it ends up taking him a few tries to hit his target. Back at home, Curry is hearing shots in his sleep and having nightmares about the night his house was burned down and his family was murdered while the perpetrator told him to keep his head down. Soon after, Wyatt returns to put the gun back in the closet seizing the opportunity to open a box Henry had hidden there a long time ago. Inside, he discovers another gun and a slew of newspaper clippings about various crimes. On the way to town, Henry discovers that Ketchum and his men have been following the trail Curry left behind. Stillwell is such an expert tracker that he can tell when somebody has covered Curry's tracks, so the trio now knows their suspect is working with someone else. These men hear some sounds in the tall grass and shoot, but Henry has already fled before they can find him. Back at the farm, Wyatt notices that one of the ropes around Curry's hands is a little loose, and his other hand is covered with a blanket. When Wyatt removes that blanket, he discovers the rope is gone. So Curry takes the chance to stop pretending he's asleep and frees himself. Grabbing the knife from the knife table, he jumps on Wyatt and swears he wouldn't like to hurt him, he just wants his satchel back. At that moment, Henry comes back and kicks Curry off his son before punching him until he loses consciousness again. Afterward, they tie Curry to a chair and wake him up. After deciding that it is too unsafe to go to town for a doctor, Henry proceeds to remove the bullet from Curry's wound while asking some questions. Curry, wriggling and crying in pain, claims to be a lawman and advises Henry and Wyatt to leave before it's too late. The bullet is excluded, but Ketchum and his men show up outside the house before Henry can ask any questions. When Henry goes to get Curry's gun, he notices it has been shot, so he reloads it first before going outside. Ketchum presents himself as a police and his associates as his deputies, then clarifies they're seeking Curry, a dangerous criminal and a murderer who also pretends to be a sheriff. Curious about Henry, Ketchum begins questioning him regarding his personal life, taking a special interest once he learns his name is McCarty because there was a criminal with that same last name many years ago. Henry tells them that he has no family, so it can't be a relative, and that he hasn't seen anyone who fits Curry's description, so he dismisses the men. Ketchum reminds them to lock their doors tonight before leaving. Then Henry returns to the home and slaps Wyatt for using the gun. Wyatt only wanted to know how it felt because he was the only boy in the area who had never been taught to fire a weapon and had to learn on his own. Wyatt insults Henry as well as calls him worthless, admitting Henry will be left alone to pass away because he will leave the farm as soon as he is able. 
Henry goes to interrogate his prisoner again, not wanting to think about how much that hurt. Curry explains that he is the true sheriff, and the trio is bank robbers who stole the badges from Curry's deputies after murdering them. He recovered the money but was injured in the process, so he passed out and fell off his horse while fleeing, only to wake up on the farm later. Curry isn't sure why Ketchum won't shoot Henry, but he's confident they'll return. Meanwhile, Ketchum and his men debate their options. They don't believe Henry and are perplexed as to why he is assisting a stranger, perhaps he was promised a portion of the money. Dugan is perplexed as to why they didn't shoot him despite the fact that they were 3 to 1. So Ketchum explains that something strange is going on. He doesn't believe Henry is in it for the money, and he's not exactly holding the gun like a farmer. What they need to do first is gather information, so Dugan will stay on the farm even though Ketchum and Stillwell go recruit some guns and pay Al a visit. Because it's just too unsafe to stay out this late, Henry makes Wyatt go inside while he finishes his farm chores. Later, Henry feeds Curry some soup himself, prompting Curry to complain about his continued confinement. Henry questions Curry about his past to see if he can trust him. Curry tells him about all the people he's worked and lived with, all of his names Henry recognizes from his travels. He also apologizes for jumping on Wyatt, claiming he was scared and confused when he awoke in an unfamiliar place. Henry's face looks familiar, but he denies ever meeting Curry before as he decides to free one of his hands. Then Henry puts his weapon on the table and ends up going to refill his glass, hoping Curry will grab it, but he doesn't. Curry, on the other hand, keeps telling Henry stories from his childhood, including the time he witnessed Billy the Kid being shot. Curry had heard Billy's voice in his dream earlier. Hearing the tales and seeing Curry not reach for the gun is finally enough to make Henry believe him. He releases Curry's other hand, returns his gun, and tells him to leave his home before the criminals return. They don't get to discuss it further, however, because Dugan starts shooting them from the window. Curry fires back, and White rushes over to see what's going on, taking a bullet to the arm in the process. Curry passes out from the pain, so Henry grabs his weapon as Dugan sneaks somewhere under the house, shooting through to the floor every time Henry moves. Henry decides on a strategy and hands the gun to his son along with some shooting tips before tossing a book on the floor to trap Dugan into shooting in this direction while he runs the other way. Henry goes outside with his rifle and starts shooting under the house there till Dugan runs out and is shot in the leg. Henry leaps on him and tries to force him to reveal some information, but Dugan refuses to cooperate, so Henry kills him. After recognizing a gang mark on Dugan's skin, he feeds the body to the pigs to make it disappear. Following that, Henry tends to Wyatt's wound when dodging his son's concerns about his past. Wyatt believes his father does not respect him, and Henry cannot expect to be treated with respect in return. After checking on Curry, who is still dreaming about the fire, Henry goes out with his rifle and braces himself for the worst. Al goes bird hunting in the morning, making it simple for Ketchum and Stillwell to find him. They would like to know further about Henry, but Al refuses to respond to their questions and is knocked out as soon as he attempts to defend himself. Back at the farm, Henry and White assist Curry in getting ready to leave. Curry, on the other hand, can barely walk, let alone ride a horse, so he informs them to leave while he stays behind to finish things. Wyatt decides to stay and defend his home as well, but Henry admits with Curry and prepares his son to leave. Unfortunately, when they get outside, they are met with a nasty surprise, Ketchum and Stillwell have returned with a slew of hired guns. Ketchum offers the father and son a deal, if they offer him Curry, he'll let them leave without a scratch. Ketchum goes a step further and reveals they've caught Al, who is hurt and bleeding. Because Henry refuses to accept. Henry grabs his rifle and hands it to Wyatt, telling him to stay inside, far away from the window and only shoot if absolutely necessary. Ignoring Curry's pleas for his release, Henry goes to confront Ketchum, who admits he is not really a sheriff and is dying to find out who Henry is. Ketchum offers to trade Al for Curry, but Henry declines, and because neither he nor Al will reveal any secrets, Ketchum kills Al right there and there. What? This causes Wyatt to emerge and begin shooting, so Henry pulls him back inside while the gang retaliates, hitting Curry on the leg as he walks near the window. Henry tells Wyatt to keep his head down after chastising him for acting without thinking. Hearing all those words that replicate his dream, Curry finally connects the dots and realizes Henry's true identity is Billy the Kid, he didn't die in the fire, he just escaped. Henry ignores him, focusing instead on retrieving his old gun and holster before heading outside to begin shooting after only a few words. Henry kills a few gang members before returning to the house through the window.
leaving a gap large enough for Curry to shoot a few men as well. As the remaining men encircle the house, Henry grabs a knife and exits through the back door. He sneaks around, stabs two criminals, and then hides under the house to shoot a third. Then he meets Stillwell, who attempts to use his knife as well. But Henry shoots him before he could even take a step. Only Ketchum remains. He's camouflaged behind the pig pen and intends to injure Henry on the shoulder, prompting Henry to flee into the woods, forcing Ketchum to follow. Both men hide behind trees as they trade shots, but Henry is too good and hits Ketchum in the leg and shoulder. When Henry gets closer, Ketchum attempts to land one last shot before Henry finishes him off for good. The wounds aren't serious, so as soon as Henry returns to the farm, he goes to Curry for assistance with his own injuries. When Henry tears off Curry's sleeve to examine his arm more closely, he discovers a shocking surprise, Curry has the same gang mark as Dugan. And he shoots Henry for noticing it. Curry technically doesn't lie, he admits to being a sheriff albeit a corrupt one. He and his deputies had previously worked with Ketchum, but when they learned that Ketchum was planning to kill them during their last job, Curry attempted to flee, and that's how it all began. Henry is in pain but not yet dead, and Curry desires to be the one who assassinated Billy the Kid. But Wyatt comes and shoots him before he can shoot. He wants to get his father a doctor, but Henry says it's too late, so he wants to say some final words to his son before he dies. When Wyatt travels the world, he will hear many stories about Billy the Kid, and Henry wants him to know that only half of them are true. He admits to not being a good person, and he doesn't believe in redemption, all this time, he's just trying to find solace in raising a good child. Henry doesn't believe he has a place in this new world, but Wyatt is certain he does. Wyatt buries his father next to his mother after crying over his father's death. He packs his belongings and rides away from the farm on his horse, as he's always wanted to do.